Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and today we're going to watch Cells at Work to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. While I work as an electrical engineer, I do have degrees in electrical and biomedical engineering, so I am able to comment on the show's validity with some professional accuracy. And with that, let's get started. That is 100% absolutely true. It is the job of red blood cells to transport oxygen throughout the body. Blood comes in all different colors, but while it's mostly red in the majority of organisms, we've also seen blue, green, and yellow blood. And I'm not talking about like white blood cells or red blood cells, like those have different functions. I'm speaking specifically about the blood cells that are used for transporting oxygen. Horseshoe crabs and squid, for example, have blue blood. And the reason for that is because they have hemocyanin, which uses copper to transport oxygen throughout their body. Versus humans, we have hemoglobin that uses iron. That got really bloody really, really quick, but it's... I mean, they're not wrong. Uh, it is the job of those white blood cells to like kill any foreign invaders that enter the body one way or the other. In reality, the white blood cell would be significantly larger than that like bacteria, and what'll really happen in your body is a process called phagocytosis, which is literally where the white blood cell will like engulf and like eat the bacteria or the virus or whatever it is that enters your body. That like, I'm not even exaggerating, like it, it literally looks like a giant like blob is eating a smaller blob and that's what happens every day. The part in this scene that's actually not accurate is like the blood just splurting everywhere out of the bacteria because bacteria are single celled organisms. So they wouldn't have any cells at work inside of them, like especially not red blood cells. <laughs> That's not how, like, how can a red blood cell be lost? Like, your heart is pumping blood that's circulating in the same direction all throughout your body. Like, it has a defined beginning, middle, and end point. Like, it starts at your heart, and then it all goes together, and then it ends back at your heart. So there's... There's really no way that any red blood cell could be lost. Everything that that white blood cell just said is 100% correct. And I really like this picture actually when it shows all the different like bacteria and they're all kind of invading one place because this is how it would actually go down in your body. Like one bacteria or one virus cell is is really not a threat, right? Because and like we said earlier, bacteria are single-celled organisms. But when you find bacteria, you normally don't just find like one by itself. You find a group of them together. And as we saw, a group of them like came out of the ground, right? But when there's like one running around your body, that's really not much of a threat. <laughs> Those are the platelets! They're adorable! They're, they are so cute! It absolutely makes sense for all the little platelets to be like together like that and I like how they all have like construction hats on, they're taking like a ladder to wherever they have to go. They're probably going to like to the place where all those like bacteria like broke through the body to like replace it and what, what platelets do like in your body, their whole purpose is to clot your blood. And the reason that you actually want that to happen is because like let's say you do have like a cut on your like skin or something and you start to bleed, the platelets will actually all sort of come together like at that area of the cut and it'll clot your blood so that blood doesn't keep on like bleeding out of you. The reason that you bleed at all is because your blood pressure is always positive and that's a defense mechanism from your body because let's say you do get a cut and now like your skin is like um, exposed to the air around you. The reason your body would like bleed is because you want the blood to flow out of that area so that nothing goes in. But what you don't want to happen is so much blood to flow out that you actually die from blood loss. 
So to prevent that, your body has platelets that'll actually clot the blood and stop the bleeding. Those are some pretty badass killer T cells, and I I, I do like that we have the represented here because they kind of have like a similar like like costume or like getup. I mean, not costume, like uniform, to like the white blood cell because like they are certainly related. Like the white blood cell is what attacks like foreign objects. Like uh, they attack the viruses and bacteria that come into your body, whereas your T cells are responsible for like destroying and killing like uh, infected red blood cells in your own body. And pretty much your your T cells are focus on destroying your own cells. When a red blood cell gets infected by a bacteria or a virus, it's your killer T cells that will actually kill your own infected red blood cell. Or if, like I'm sure a lot of people have heard this, every day your body actually has cells that if your killer T cells didn't get rid of them, they would turn cancerous. So T cells are very, very important. <laughs> Capillaries are very, very thin, and that's kind of why they had that really cute note that was like, please only one at a time. Right now, they're in the alveoli, which is a part of your lungs where diffusion occurs between the air that we breathe and our bloodstream. If she's bringing in CO2 or carbon dioxide, then what's going to happen is that's going to be exhaled because that's the primary gas that we exhale from our lungs. We breathe in all the stuff around us and your body will process all the oxygen and then you exhale carbon dioxide. <laughs> so if they're going down the bronchial tubes into like the, the mucosal area, that's like right now what I think is going to happen is that all of them are going to be exhaled because this is exactly how your body would respond given where those cells are in that area. Bye bye Kinda. That is the coolest sneeze I've ever seen. I probably could have specified instead of just saying they're going to be exhaled. I mean, I wouldn't have guessed they were going to be sneezed out. If anything, I, I thought your, their body would like cough, but I mean, sneezing is a form of exhaling too. When you sneeze or cough, the bacteria that you actually like exhale out of your body can survive in midair just for a couple minutes or maybe even longer depending on the bacteria that we're talking about. So it's really, really important whenever you sneeze or cough to please cover your mouth. I really enjoyed this anime very much. I mean, not, not just from like an educational perspective, but it was just really fun to watch. Like it had a lot of good humor and the way that they portrayed all the different cells was spot on. I really, really like how they did all that. I'm very, very happy that this show was recommended to me. So thank you everyone in the comments who asked me to watch this show. It, it was totally worth it. I had a really fun time with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more cells at work or any other anime, TV show, or movies for me to react to and commentate over it, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, stay fresh, and stay golden.